Here's how to fix cellular data not working on your iPhone. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings here and we'll make a number of changes and corrections. The first thing we'll do is tap on cellular here. So you can see at the very top, it shows cellular data. I would first recommend just toggling this off and then turning it back on. Now we've reset that cell data and reinitiated it, but we also probably want to do this for the entire eSIM for your carrier. You can see if I scroll down a little bit, it shows AT&T and I have my line eSIM turned on. I'm going to turn it off. This will completely disconnect my eSIM from the cell carrier. And then I'm just going to go back in here and turn it back on. Again, this will reconnect to the closest tower and reconnect to the cell data. After I've done that, we need to make sure there are no limitations on your cell data. So let's go to cell data options and data roaming at the very top. You want to turn this on. A lot of times this is a legacy feature. Most of the time, the modern carriers don't really charge you if you're on some other tower. So if you have that turned off, just turn it back on. Now, other things we'll do is we'll go into voice and data, and I would recommend just going to 5G auto. This will just choose automatically what's the best cell carrier service that you currently have and give you that data. We can also go back here to data mode, and I would recommend standard here. So if you're on low data mode, that might be preventing you from using that cell data for your specific device. So just choose standard here and then we'll go back out of here and all of that looks good. Now let's go back here and we'll go down to general and then at the very bottom, we'll try to reset the network settings. So tap on reset and then let's hit on reset here. You'll see reset network settings. I'm going to tap on it and just enter in the passcode for my phone. And essentially, this will bring it all back to factory default. This a lot of times fixes any kind of issues with your network, with your connection between your phone and the cellular data with your carrier, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, whatever you have. So just reset this. And also, if you go back here, another thing we will do in the same screen is go to the VPN and device management. So tap on that. Now, if you have a VPN turned on, I would recommend going into there and turning off your VPN. Or if you no longer use that VPN, you can always just delete out that VPN profile. And a lot of times that fixes issues with your cell data. In addition to that, if you do have device management on there that you don't necessarily use, you can see I don't have any, but if you do have any device management showing up under there, then just go in there and delete it if you don't necessarily need that on your phone. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back out of here and at the very bottom, we'll hit the shutdown button. You'd be surprised how many times just properly turning off your phone and turning it back on fixes a lot of bugs and issues on your phone in addition to your connection between your phone and your cellular carrier or your mobile carrier. After we've done that, let's hop out of here and we'll just swipe down from the top right. You can see the airplane mode. Let's turn on airplane mode. This will again disconnect from everything and then turn that airplane mode back off and it will reconnect to everything. Now, after we go through this entire process, your phone should be working, connecting to your cell tower, but we need to make sure it's updated. So let's go back into settings and we'll go back here. You're going to tap on general and then about. And what you're looking for is if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see it says carrier AT&T 61.0. This is my carrier firmware on my phone. If you find that it shows up with a pop-up that says your cell carrier needs to be updated, just update the firmware on your cell carrier and it will basically just reboot your phone and that could be the cause of the issues. It just needs to be updated. The last thing I would recommend doing is just going into a web browser here and what we're going to do is type in field test iPhone. And on here, you'll be able to see it says to access the field test mode, you're going to dial this specific code. So 3001 pound 12345 pound. Now, if we hop out of here and go into the phone app and just paste this in, 
you'll be able to see when I hit call, it pops up with the field test. And for whatever reason, that didn't work on mine. I might need to hop out of the screen recording or just reset my phone. But essentially by doing this field test, it will show you what your current connection is between your phone and the cell carrier because potentially you're just in somewhere with bad signal. So you might need to take your phone from inside and go outside or walk around a building and try to get somewhere where you get better signal wherever you are. And hopefully that will help your data if it's not really working inside house or inside a business or a coffee shop or something like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.